your Bible says that you are to put on a garment of praise as an exchange for heaviness. Now, now something we've lost in our culture and we've lost in our modern day living, and that is the ability to push through something. Because whenever there's something inconvenient or we don't like, watch, we unfollow, we leave a nasty comment, we remove a heart, we block a number, because resistance, we've been taught to flee from anything that is resisting us or that is uncomfortable. But in the spirit, the violent take the kingdom by force. And those that are pushed have to learn how to push back. And I cannot tell you enough. I've been praying for this service for four weeks. And the least you can do is praise him for four minutes. Because there is something in the cloud that's about to get on your life that is going to transform you and it's going to change you forever. So I need you to take off that garment of heaviness and clothe yourself now in the garment of praise. I need you to just quicken a little bit. Move back and forth. Stomp a foot. Wave a hand. Put a smile on your face. It'll feel good to your spirit. And I'm going to give you one more opportunity before we open the word to put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. What goes up? must come down. What you put in, you have the right to take out. New beginnings, nine o'clock. Clap your hands and shout now. praising like you're under an open heaven one week they told Bridget she had cancer the next week she went back and they told her they didn't know where it went and she's standing next to a woman whose husband was told one week he had liver cancer went back to the doctor and they said they couldn't find it I came to declare you are under an open heaven
Raise your hands up. Come on. The sound of the abundance of rain. It's raining miracles. It's raining miracles. We are under an open heaven. And he's pouring out what you need this morning. It's raining miracles. It's raining miracles. Show Up like this. Come on, come on, come on. Hey. It's raining. It's raining. need to come in the river. I said, some of y'all need to come in the river. Just take a step and jump in the river. Lift up your voice. What's in the cloud is getting on the people. I said, what's in the cloud is getting on the people. You can stay standing. You can stay seated. Just don't stay where you are. Numbers 11, I'm not preaching. Numbers 11 on the screen. Numbers 11 on the screen. 
in Jesus' name. The anointing is not there. Numbers 11. The Lord came down in the cloud and he spoke. If you don't shout when I read this, he took the spirit that was upon Moses and he put it on the 70 elders. What was in the cloud got on the people. And when the spirit rested upon them, they prophesied, sounding forth the praise of God and declaring his will. I came to declare to you what's in the cloud is getting on the people. Now stay right where you are. I'm going to pray in less than three minutes. This cloud that we read about in Numbers would often lead and guide Israel, protect Israel. And from that cloud, God would speak and he would move and he would direct, he would descend. He would give direction from the cloud. Hear me, all these things that I'm speaking about, God descending, moving, directing, visiting, leading, guiding, and protecting. All of these things speak of open heaven. They can put this up on the screen because if you don't get anything from this series, get this. As long as you chase the cloud, you will be under in open heaven. Y'all missed that nine o'clock. If you want the secret of remaining under an open heaven where what goes up must come down, this is the secret. As long as you chase the cloud, you will be under in open heaven. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to let heaven know you ain't going to stop chasing. The series may be over, but the season is just beginning. I want to stay under an open heaven. Come on, church. I'm giving you 30 seconds to let heaven know I'm going to chase this cloud. Now watch what happens, because this is what's happening today. From the cloud, God takes the same spirit, the same anointing that he placed on Moses, and he places it on the 70 elders. You've got to watch what happens. The spirit rested. You've got to catch that. Because that means the anointing didn't just come, it stayed. And what was in the cloud got on the people. And what was resting in the cloud began to rest on the people. And in the next three minutes when I lay my hands on you, I'm declaring that the Spirit is not just going to come. The Spirit is going to rest. The anointing is not just going to come. It's going to rest, which means it's going to stay. And you better lift your hands right now because what's in the cloud is going to get on you and it's going to stay on you. And what's resting in the cloud is going to begin to rest on your mind and your body and your money and your family. I came to declare today what's in the cloud is getting on the people. Let me say this last thing and then we pray because I want you to know what's going to happen to you. The same thing that happened to the 70 elders. When the Spirit rested, they began to prophesy. Now, before we get out of order, this is not me telling you to walk up the aisles and call out people's hidden sin and tell them who they should or should not marry. That's, that's prophesying, not prophesying. There's a difference. We'll, we'll teach that next week. Let's go back to the text. It's amazing how much we'd understand if we would read the Bible. It says to sound forth with great noise the praise of God. Okay? But you have to declare the will of God while you're doing it. So it's not just a shout. It's a shout with, I know I'm coming out. It's not just a dance. It's a dance that says, I won't leave here until you bless me. It's not just a, a praise and a shout. It is a praise that says, I'm breaking out. I'm breaking through. 
and I'm breaking free. So when I lay my hands on you today, you know what to do. You're going to sound forth with great noise the praises of God. Let me, let me show you what I'm talking about. Brother Chris was back there with me today in the back, and we saw the loop, the, the five-minute loop of the pre-service. Is that what we call it? Yeah, pre-service loop. And I saw our beautiful building from the drone footage. And I said, oh, Lord, what a beautiful building. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you that I don't have to come to it anymore. I said, thank you for the new building you're going to give me. And Gemma said, well, I like this building. I said, I do too. That's why we're going to keep it and buy another one. Because... And I said, thank you, Jesus. That building is mine. There is something about praying God while declaring his will. So don't you just clap. Clap with an I know I'm blessed. Don't just shout. Shout with an I know I'm coming out. New beginnings. Clap your hands and give God that shout now. Praise him until the cloud breaks. Praise him until you send up enough. Heaven can't help but send it down. Shout now and bless him until the cloud breaks. Until it breaks. So if you need healing today, when I lay my hands on you, you shout and say, I am healed. If you need your heart mended, when I lay my hands on you, you shout with a, my heart is mended. There's something about declaring with great noise. I love that part. With great noise, the praises of God while declaring his will. Now, here's what I need you to do. Everyone standing if you can, and I need you to lift up your hands. In just a moment, I'm going to release the worship team to lead us in worship. You don't have to worry about moving out of your seat. We have an usher team that will come to you. They will give you direction. You don't need to worry about that. All you need to worry about is chasing the cloud. If there's anyone who has physical limitations or disabilities and you can't stand for a long time, see one of the ushers or make your way down, we'll get you in the line right away. But I need every hand in this room lifted. And I need you to be determined over these next few minutes. We've only got about 15 minutes left together in this service that you are determined that everything that you need that's in the cloud is going to be released to you today through your praise, through your, through your pursuit. You're chasing the cloud. Lift your voice and lift your hands. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Lift your hands, church. Lift your hands. What's in the clouds getting on the people? Favor, promotion, blessing, healing, deliverance, peace, and power. Whew. Whew. Come on, lift your hands. Lift your voice.